The whole world wants her to be their president. If we had a president like her in the United States, the things would have been different in the world. Americans, Asians, Africans, Australians, Europeans. People around the globe watched in admiration as this woman led her country to be COVID-free in just seven weeks. She is one of the best politicians in the world. And if you ask me, the reason why majority of politicians are bad to their countries is because of their ego. Let me explain. This is Jacinda Ardern, the youngest world leader and the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Even though New Zealand is often left out in maps, they surely made their country very popular. New Zealand has been voted the greatest country on earth for seven years in a row. First place when it comes to COVID-19 response. Today there are no active cases in New Zealand. Has the lowest unemployment rate and where racism is not tolerated. We don't let racism exist. Let New Zealand be a place where there is no tolerance for racism ever and that's something we can all do. And in New Zealand your mental health is a priority. The true measure of leadership is the ability to confront the anxiety of the people of their time. It's easy to see how a good leader can change the whole nation's direction. It's amazing, but what truly sets her aside is her ability to be at her best in a time of crisis. Just having a bit of an earthquake here, Ryan. Quite a Quite a decent shake here, All but right. um, if you see things moving behind me. New Zealand faced the hardest times within her term. Terrorist attack, volcanic eruption, global pandemic. One tragedy after another. But all of this didn't stop her from winning. When a terrorist tried to divide us, we came together and we said, they are us. When a volcano erupted, we threw our arms around those affected, whether they were from near or far. And when COVID arrived, we didn't hesitate to act, knowing it was the only way to protect those around us. Earlier, I said that ego is what makes politicians bad. Unfortunately, in majority of the world, politicians feel like they're above the nation. They feel untouchable. They feel too good to listen to the common people. And that is exactly why Jacinda is so different. She never puts herself first, she really listens. If I could distill it down into one concept that we are pursuing in New Zealand, it is simple and it is this, kindness. To her, everything in New Zealand was about collaboration, positive language, rather than an ego of a politician who thinks they're always right and know better. And that is how you establish a united nation who respects their leader and not a divided nation. New Zealanders didn't fight with themselves, they didn't fight against the government and when tragedy struck, they listened to the rules. They believed that their government was protecting them, they believe in Jacinda because she is the president every country wants. And so let's look at this inspiring woman as an example that we all should follow. Only then we will stop wishing for a leader like Jacinda to lead our country because we will have the government that doesn't feel better than the very people who voted for it. We have made a choice that I am proud of that will leave a legacy and that I hope means the next generation will see that we in New Zealand, we're on the right side of history.